Turning now to our economy. Champions will be crowned this weekend on Pleasure Island as competition gets underway from volleyball to track and field. But as News 5's Debbie Williams tells us, it may be the city of Gulf Shores that is the big winner. Not just another day at the beach for the college athletes taking over the sand in Gulf Shores this weekend. They're going to see some top-notch collegiate volleyball. You're getting an opportunity to see the best of the best out here on the beach for the next three days. The inaugural NCAA Beach Volleyball Championships have arrived. We've got teams from Hawaii and California and Florida, Georgia, so Arizona. The competition will be fierce and will be nationally televised, exposing the beaches to a brand new audience. People around America will also get to see us and how beautiful our beaches are and what we can transform them into. They'll be having a big ball here on the beach in Gulf Shores, but that's not the only thing going on. More athletes are just up the road, and it all means millions of dollars for the local economy. Set. The state high school track and field championships have found a home in Gulf Shores. Last year, they brought in just under a million dollars, booking over 1,900 room nights and their own track to do it again this year. It puts a lot of people in their beds. 2,500 students, their family and coaches, all here for the competition and something more. I was behind a group of kids going into the hotel, and they were saying they've never seen a beach. And one of them said, I never stayed in a hotel. Sports tourism has paid off big for the coastal communities. We're here for two years, which is great an opportunity, and Gulf Shores is digging it. On the Baldwin County Beating Gulf Shores, Debbie Williams, News 5. Competition for the National Beach Volleyball Championship gets underway at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning and runs through Sunday. The high school athletes are in competition through Saturday.